born in 1955, grew up in Jamaica Plain, a city, a town right inside of Boston. Did the typical things, went to school in Boston, Boston Latin School, graduated in 1973 and went to, went to college. And in the summer of my freshman year, August 8th, 1974, I was with some friends sailing over in Martha's Vineyard, and that was when I was injured. I dove into some shallow water out in the harbor at Oak Bluffs, and that's when I broke my neck. Up, up, up. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, squeeze, squeeze your glutes. Good. And the Americans with Disabilities lunch? Act in 1992 first came up, so I wound up getting into businesses that were involved in that, but I also got bitten by the, the acting bug, because one of the guys that was with me when I was injured back in 74, his name is Peter Farrelly, uh, came out with a new movie in, uh, in 1995, which was called Dumb and Dumber, and I was invited to the premiere of that, at which point I gave him a hard time because I didn't see anybody in wheelchairs in the movie. So from then on, I was, I've been in every single movie of his since then. January of 2000, I moved to Los Angeles here where I've been for the last five years, and now I find myself here at UCLA, uh, working on uh, locomotive training. Three, two, one, and begin. The changes are not dramatic, they're very subtle. I know my posture is a lot better. My, I know my blood pressure has changed. Uh, I'm actually studying my temperature changes now. It's like a certain, a different energy in your body, so it makes me want to keep going. I don't want the train to pass me by and not be ready for when good thing, you know, the developments do come about. The actual uh, hope or vision of standing up, even though it's been 30 years for me, is a realistic uh, goal for me.